yesterday never talks of yesterday hmm yesterday never talks of yesterday tomorrow never talks of tomorrow assuming that they were you talk of them when and whenever you are talking of them you are in the now no not really in the present because if you are talking of this and that then surely you are missing the present if you are talking of yesterday tomorrow and all such fancies then you are a little displaced from the present but the now is what you are believing in hmm? the now as a part of the flow now as that which comes after yesterday and before tomorrow a distinction between the present and now needs to be very clearly made the present is shiva the present is that which is present which is all that there is now is an imaginary part of time can you ever put your finger on the now can you ever say i am right now the moment you talk of the now the now is already so now is always just an imagination the present is the foundation of past now and future the present is the foundation of past now and future and past now and future are parts of the stream of time present is the land the vast infinite land in which many such streams keep flowing we speak of the present as eternal but even the concept of eternity implies time yes so not eternity timelessness different come close first eternity would mean a very very long unimaginably long period of time timelessness means just being outside the flow of time huh the mind wants to talk of eternity because the mind wants continuity the mind does not does not like timelessness eternity ensures great continuity Now will you tell me what is immortality? Is it eternity or is it timelessness? Is it about living for a million years or is it something else? Really? So can one be immortal right now? and one can lose it as well surrendered and in the present one is immortal and the moment you are busy with time you are again moving towards death